Today we are going to talk about a uh, heart attack. Normally the heart is composed of two parts where we have the right side and the left side. So we have a deoxygenated blood. from the alveoli going into the blood into the surrounding capillaries and at the same time we also have capillaries now for the heart to pump blood it also needs oxygen it also needs nutrients in blood so we have uh, just uh, in the iota there we have these arteries called coronary arteries, those coronary arteries, they supply uh, the heart with oxygen and nutrients because the heart, it also needs oxygen and, and nutrients for it to maintain its function. Now, if we have a blockage in one of the coronary arteries, that condition is called myocardial infarction or heart attack. And this blockage, it may be uh, due to atherosclerosis, which can be, uh, you know, formation of a, of a plaque around the arteries there, which may contribute to blockage of the coronary arteries. So when we have a blockage of these arteries, you know, the, the cells of the heart, you know, will start to die. Okay, just beyond the blockage there, the cells will start to die. And uh, furthermore, the heart will now uh, start having difficulties in pumping blood. And all in all, the heart tissue will start to what? To die because of the starvation of oxygen and nutrients. To treat like the surgical treatments of myocardial infarction or heart attack, you know, we have these surgical treatments called cabbage, which is coronary artery bypass graft surgery. In this procedure, the surgeon will start by making an incision on the chest and open the sternum there in order to view the heart so the surgeon will take uh, any blood vessel from any parts of the body such as the saphenous vein you know from the leg and you attach who saw that vein uh, from the iota to bypass the blockage so that you know the heart will start now receiving nutrients and what and oxygen in blood. Apart from that, the surgeon may also use you know the subclavian artery 